All right, everybody, welcome back uh, to the tasting room here at uh, Huntington Beach, California. We are at a remote location, which I will not tell you where because I don't want you coming down and buying all of the Caragligre Tequila Cristalino before I get mine. So we're going to go over this bottle for a little bit and then uh, we're going to have a tasting and then we're going to uh, give you the retail price for it so you can come on down and get some. Okay, but not before me because I'm going to buy some. All right, this is a Cristalino Reposado, which means that it's been aged to qualify as a Reposado Tequila, but then it goes through, the tequila goes through a activated charcoal uh, processing that removes uh, the oak and the pepper and some of the harshness that uh, Reposado Tequila has. So that being said, you have now a new style of tequila, a new category per se, you can consider that relatively new in the tequila industry, uh, but it's very pleasant. Now you'll get some tequilas that are reposados, some that are añejos, some that are even extra añejos, and then they're turned into cristalinos to the same kind of filtering. Well, in my experience, the older the tequila, the better the cristalino, but I ran into this bottle. Now I'm going to tell you why I like this bottle. I opened it to try it, smelled like somebody just made a margarita. And we all know the beautiful taste of a nice margarita once it's done to pristine. And it tasted just like one. But then I realized, hey, it's not a margarita. It's a Cristalino. And I don't typically drink Reposado, but this bottle, I'll tell you, I enjoy it. So let's go ahead and try it out. Let me show you the bottle so you can real close up there, real close up, okay? That's it, Reposado, or like some people like to say, Red Sopados, or Respitos, or uh, Red Sabos, whatever they want to call it, it's a great bottle. So, let's get to tasting. All right, slight burn, very pleasant burn, very comfortable. Those of you who drink uh, uh, whiskey at the higher proof, you understand what I'm saying. Those of you who enjoy good reposado, you understand what I'm saying. But the burn is gone like that, boom, done. I love it, okay? So now all the flavors are coming out. I'm getting uh, uh, a lot of agave, some hints of vanilla, uh, the oak is still present, I can feel that, but it's not overwhelming. It's not as strong as it would be if this was not a Cristalino and it was a Reposado. I would be taking the oak first. But the flavor is, pro the flavor is at the forefront. It's a beautiful, beautiful bottle. At $42.99, a great price. Um, I would uh, drink this before I drank the Don Julio uh, 70. Uh, this is a much more tastier bottle. The aroma is excellent. I thought it was a much, much more uh, enjoyable aroma than the uh, Don Julio 70. And the, the flavor is still lingering in my palate. And I'm going to recommend this to you. So we're going to give this bottle in our uh, I Love It ratings out of uh, possible five I Love It's. We're going to give it a one, two, Three, let's give it a four and a half I love it. Because you know what? I love it. I love it, I love you, and I'll see you in aisle six where the tequila's at.